Welcome back, my DIY nomads. We are back again for another episode on the micro. Ha We're back again for another episode on the micro house. Um, we've got a lot to update you on, and a lot to get on with. So let's not let's not piss around. Let's get on with it. Hey everyone, as mentioned, back again for another episode on the micro house. We started wrapping the frame in waterproof membrane. Uh, this was actually really fun. Uh, it was like almost like wrapping a ginormous present, um, and came out really well like we just used staple guns to staple it to the ply obviously making sure to overlap it the correct way around so that obviously the rain drips down and off and doesn't like go between the layers and not long after this we started mounting the purlins that the uh, corrugated steel would sit on Basically, we took a lot of time lining up the first piece, and then as you can see after that, the other pieces really went on very quickly. We did like, we measured out some chalk lines, and we made sure that we kept everything sort of lined up, but but because we overlapped like two or three ridges on the corrugated steel, it sort of kept itself pretty well aligned, um, all the way lap down the length. Uh, we also obviously pre-measured the widths and made sure that, you know, when we got to the other end, we had pre-cut a piece for the end so that we didn't overlap loads and had to cut the piece in place. It was actually surprisingly difficult for Ben on the roof here because there wasn't many places to sort of rest. Um, like we had to make sure that we were resting on the timbers that were underneath the uh, waterproof membrane. Otherwise, he would basically go through and be resting on the insulation and the interior cladding. But the self-tapping screws all went in pretty quick and we managed to get the ridge plate on pretty quick after that. I hope everyone's been doing really well over the winter and to everyone that is actually like a permanent van lifer I hope you guys have been keeping warm and keeping healthy. We've got quite a short video today um, A lot of these scenes were like they, they, they took like an hour to film but because obviously you don't want to Sort of see very very slow progress over this. I have to speed it up But it's gonna be a short video today, but I'll be bringing out one of Ben's Luton videos next week We're gonna be looking at getting the box back on driving it out and starting with the floor and uh, really starting to get this box ready for taking the roof off and replacing the fiberglass. So as you can see, the tin roof is now on and it looks so cool. Um, we're learning so much from doing this first one um, and like we're really excited about how this is going and like the, I don't know if you can quite tell but like there is a very 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 slight green tint to this color apparently goose wing gray so it's meant to be like this nice really beautiful light gray with a slight slight twinge of green in it and it does look really really cool um yeah let's get down there and check it out so along with doing the roof we're now <laughs> <laughs> we're now fitting this front edge on um i'm going to apologize for the next minute of footage i completely lost all ability to talk or and or all terminology so enjoy because we've got to basically put this on either end so that we can stop the talking in a thing because i don't know how to talk we're just now adding this front fascia and also on the back um obviously it just ties in the whole lip, but obviously it's got to you know keep all the moisture out still um but yeah it looks really it looks really good actually and you can see it up there so they've met the two sides of the roof have met and we've got the and then we've got the ridge cap on top um all the pieces on the roof held on with these these are technically self-tapping so we basically use these they've got this like rubber cup bit there so that when you mount it onto the valley the peaks of the valley sorry um they just like suction around the whole curve so you're not left with any air gap for rain to get into we use the self-tapping ones for the ridge cap and these also have like a little rubber washer that squishes down and prevents water getting under there and then through the hole so this is the other side um the wood here you can see it's all exposed and then we're adding this piece of timber here followed up by 
the edge the edge sort of a fascia and this will just give this fascia a lot more strength when screwing it down from above and into the side and then finally we'll like sort of clad up this inside so you don't really see the tin But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching along on all my videos, and I guess I'll catch all you DIY nomads next time.